this month, hundreds of refugees from Afghanistan are expected to come to the capital city to start their new lives. Erica Brown Binion of the Refugee Development Center says Afghan refugees have already started arriving, but more are expected in the coming weeks. Brown Binion says her agency fills in the gaps for refugees settling here. That includes English classes, um, tutoring programs, mentoring, uh, digital literacy and computer um, understanding, um, financial literacy, um, and all of the above. So we since 1975, St. Vincent Catholic Charities has been helping people make the Lansing area their home. Judy Harris, who heads up the division of the nonprofit focused on resettling refugees, says the number of people the organization has helped in recent years has declined, but that is changing. You know, with the new administration, everything's going to grow. And so um, nationally and, and everywhere else. And so we did accept to receive 400 refugees this year. But then the Afghanistan situation um, occurred and the crisis there occurred. And so on top of those 400 refugees, we're also going to be resettling um, 300 Afghan evacuees. Harris says her team is actively looking for housing in and around Lansing that will accommodate the evacuees. She says resettlement has worked here because of all the other agencies in town that support St. Vincent's. We have uh, so many community partners here, and that's one of the reasons that we do this, and one of the reasons we do it big is this is such a supportive community here, and they, we found that, that Lansing is probably one of the best places in the U.S. to resettle refugees. Harris says most of the families will live in the Lansing area, but others may find housing in neighboring cities like Okemos and Mason. A few of those families have already started to arrive in the area and more are expected in the coming weeks. Your neighborhood reporter in Lansing, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.